Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday. That means it's time for some unfair shit that you can abuse the crap out of, right? Today, I'm going to show you a PvP deck that, from my opinion, not a lot of people know how to counter. Uh, it's very unfair. It's very fun. It's, uh, I would say it's easy to execute. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to show you uh, the minimum that you need to make this combo work and the ideal deck that you will need to like to make syn everything synergize ideally okay number one skeleton party with no talents this is a minimum right no talents just a skeleton party mini that's all we need number two we will need these two skeletons i believe isn't it supposed to be three of them okay whatever skeletons and number three, we will need Cheat Death with an Apocalypse Talent, which means affected skeletons resurrect at your base when they die. <laughs> you already know what's going to happen, right? So the idea of this deck is you save up the gold and uh, you pretty much play as a scumbag Maya deck. You deploy everything at the enemy's core, except you put Cheat Death on it. So not only they survive for five seconds and, you know, they do some damage to, to the enemy's core, but they also resurrected their base. Now, this was a minimum. Three things. Now let's talk about the ideal case. Um, even this deck is not an ideal case, but let's go e through every single thing of this deck. Okay, number one. You will need skeletons with the talent questing buddies. Now, this talent is not really that useful. It's just the best out of what we have. The other two are even more useless. Questing buddies, you know, it makes your skeletons a little bit more tanky, but they will all die at the same time, roughly, so don't we don't really care about it. If you want, you can do that. We're talking about the ideal case, right? Again, uh, cheat death with resurrect with apocalypse talent nothing else to say okay there's this quill bore we will not use anything for crowd control no polymorph well actually we'll get to that but right now what i'm showing you is this quill bore we will need this guy with the uh, with either talent we only need them need them to show up so you can take poison you can take uh, tunnel vision or the third one doesn't really matter so what we need it for is sometimes your skeletons, the ones that resurrected, are coming at the enemy's core. And you see Huntress, for example, or Pyromancer, or Ren, something that will one-shot or two-shot the, all the skeletons that you have. So to prevent that from happening, we need either crowd control like Polymorph, or we need to deploy this little pig behind the whatever wants to kill us so it turns around and our skeletons come closer and kill it da, 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 da. so we need this for positioning for for breaking positioning of the enemy uh, number four skeleton party with the talent corpse run it gains every uh, every time you deploy them they gain plus one level we deploy them a few times so it's going to be very helpful you can take five men if you already have five men you know and you can use that might be helpful but again that these are all skeletons and the healer and the tank skeleton are not going to help you. you you after the cheat death expires you can you will all die uh, you will all die i mean they will all die and it doesn't really matter but the plus one level will give them more damage right banshee uh, now here you can replace banshee and take polymorph for example Sometimes it, it's better. It all depends on your playstyle. Uh, I use Banshee because sometimes the enemy sends, uh, like if you play against Charga, she sends invisible gargoyle at you. And uh, you need something to, to take out the gargoyle Im immediately because you know how hard gargoyle hits, especially when it comes to buildings. So th that's why I use Banshee. Because my army, it's more for pushing, not for defending. And if the enemy, especially the some siege units, manage to get to your core, oh my god, you're going to die. But again, th at this point, it's up to you. But my ideal way is this. Chain lighting. We don't need chain lighting. We just need either this or... Oh, where is it? 
Arcane Blast. Now, what do we need it for? We don't use it for our push. We use it to prevent certain things from happening. Uh, one of the most popular strategies that is used by the bots as well is uh, MyF core push. You know, you deploy, it's not really MyF, it's just a core push. You deploy Quillbor, the core gets aggroed by the Quillbor, then you deploy Worgen, then you deploy the midget on the plane, and bam, you know, Nomelia. Then you deploy all that, and they very, very quickly kill your core. The idea is that you need something to... Um, uh, to kick the invisible minis out of stealth and something to quickly kill whelp eggs. That's why I use Chain Lighting or Arcane Blast. It's up to you what you want to use, uh, but I, I'm just explaining you why I use this thing. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, and the, finally, the hero! I haven't tried it myself because I don't have this talent, obviously, right? Because I need exactly this talent, that's why I don't have it. Uh, skeletal Frenzy. So, it bloodlusts your skeletons. Now, bloodlust on skeletons works a little differently than bloodlust that comes from Gromash Hellscream. Um, in order to get bloodlusted by Gromash, you have to be really close to him. In case of skeletons and the Baron Raven there, skeletons at the enemy's core get bloodlusted when the Baron Raven there is in the middle, uh, is a, 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 in the center of the bridge of that map. Yeah, that's how far the bloodlust on skeleton works. If your Baron Raven there passes under the bridge, you can deploy your skeletons and they're going to get bloodlusted. Yeah. So you can take this. But again, Baron Ravender is an extremely expensive hero. You have to deploy him first. You have to wait until he will take right position. And then you have to have enough gold, which is four for the big skeleton troop, two for the small one, and three for, for the cheat death. So two, three, almost nine gold, right? Four, three, and two, yeah. Nine gold plus four for, for Baron Ravender. It's... It's going to be a lot, to, uh, really hard to pull off. So, again, this is ideal world. You don't need to do that. What you can use, however, the MyF will synergize with this combo really well because we have out of six minis, three of them are, are unbound, which will reduce MyF's cost. And once she costs one gold, you can use her to defend. She's really good. She does this gigantic AOE, and you you can. I usually use her to defend things. The PvP that I'm going to show you is a platinum level so it's not for bronze not for silver i'm going to show you some footage against alpha males and females and whatever the rest okay oh mr brood i believe he's, this is a guy from youtube okay so our goal is to make it so that we have both skeleton troops on our table and the cheat death and we have enough gold for it, which we, which is nine. We need nine gold um, and three things on our panel. Okay, he's attacking. So here's how we're going to do it. See, if I had a bloodlust talent, all my skeletons would have been blood bloodlusted. I'm using these bandits to get chests, but I never got any chests. I'm going to replace them after that, I guess, because it never works. So my skeletons, as you can see, they came out of nowhere. They came back and they went right. We're using the Banshee to steal a wolf because otherwise wolf, you know, would have done a lot of damage to us. And we also take chests with the wolf, so it's pretty useful. And now we're getting killed. Okay, it's a pretty stupid strategy. You deploy everything, you cover this by cheat death and you forget about it. And you go do your thing. See, boom, they came back. And look how much damage they did to the core. And we don't have... This is not the ideal deck, obviously. Right? Okay? Alright. And to be honest, with this uh, cannon modifiers, you see the way the core attacks? It's AoE. This Morlock strategy doesn't really work. But I guess it's none of my business, I'm just saying. Just trying to, to be smart. Right? 2-2-2... 
Um, and right now I'm doing everything wrong because yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not nobody is tanking. I'm just deploying everything. I'm just face tanking with my skeletons, and we're supposed to win. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Okay. This is a horde deck against Sneed. I'm deploying a Baron Raven there because I have nothing else to deploy. Okay. I have to admit, this guy, I believe he killed me before that, uh, like a couple of fights ago, and now I'm facing him again. And this one I'm gonna, this one I'm gonna win. Okay, so we're using, the, here is what we need Banshee for. We take this uh, Raider, take him, and now he is his problem. Or she, she, this is a girl Raider. Um, yeah. Pretty simple, deploying everything, cast the cheat death. We don't care about Huntress no more. Okay. Alright, that's how it's done. This is a platinum level. This is not silver, not bronze. Alright, this is a versus Maiev deck. Let's see if she is going to rush us at our core. Again, deploying everything we don't need. Getting our skeletons, cheat death and gold. So we already have gold. Okay, using Banshee, stealing the golem. Nobody is tanking anymore. I wasted my skeletons to kill the worgen. So now we need more. We need new ones. Boom. Even harpies. We need to get my skeletons back. To be able to push. Okay. Okay. Boom. Our skeletons are almost ready. Okay, it's time to party. Boom, boom, boom. See? Cast cheat death and forget about it. Play your own game. Now do something else. Ah, oh, they're all coming back, bitches! <laughs> that is pretty much the game. So his golems are mine now and they're just running around everywhere. All our troops are back, all our skeletons are back. And I think... Yeah, that's the end. So the skeletons can take two attacks from the core. And then they die. Okay. Versus Gromash. I don't know if it's a bot or not. Trying to get this gold with my bandits so I could finally get some bonus gold. Which never happens. Okay. Bring up some space for my skeletons. Then the first attack is coming. Oh my god, Bat Rider. Cheat death. There we go. Boom. Worked perfectly. Now they're all coming back. And now watch. I'm using Banshee. Taking this Tauren. And then I still get one, one shot from Ogre Mage. And he kills a few of my skeletons. Unfortunately. That is something you that you have to take care of. Uh, by using Polymorph or, you know, Banshee. I told you about it. But it's not deadly. Now, here, it, it has nothing to do with my deck. It's just the way you should play. You start fighting when the, your tower starts hitting. To get extra damage from your from your tower, from your core. Okay. That is how it's done. Okay, I guess wave number two. This is the way to do it as well. Ah, freaking Batrider. You can also deploy the Quillbor first. Again, cheat death and forget about it. Okay. Up. Grab the torn. Boom. I think they're gonna die. Yeah. I deployed my Quillbor so he doesn't kill my skeletons with one hit. Again, doing the exact same thing, just deploy stuff on time, so 
enemies get hit by the core, but don't hit the core. Okay, same thing. Cheat death on skeletons, they are all coming back. Mm. Almost done. Ah, you see? Wasted. That happens too. And I, I actually should have taken care about, about it, and I could have done it. I could have deployed something in front of them or behind them. So, that was my mistake. Okay. Hogger. Same thing. Trying to get more gold. Uh, creating quill bore. Now I wasted my skeletons, which means um, the push is going to be a little bit delayed. I'm using my Banshee to grab the Worgen because he's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, by the way, boom. Great timing. We're going to kill Quillbor without him being able to do anything. First Hogger comes. Uh, he's pretty weak. We're doing deploying our first skeletons. Going big dick. We don't care about the new Hogger because there's too many of us and we're going to resurrect. Uh, there we go. <laughs> we made it. Even though he's super weak. Now, look at the way how I'm going to counter this hogger. Ah! Behind his back, so he doesn't hit my skeletons, my low HP troops. Ah, and he did. So, I hope you understand the idea. I know you do. You guys are smart. Keep doing the same thing brainlessly. Look how many skeletons I have. Boom, dead. Platinum hogger. The most overpowered uh, hero with these modifiers and so I hope it wasn't formative if you have questions concerns or insults post them down below